you know, thing to do under, you know, today's circumstances, but back at the turn of the century, 100 years ago, uh, it was probably a pretty difficult thing for him to do, to go out and, 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 and preach and, and, uh, and, you know, be a missionary, do missionary work in, in South Africa 100 years ago. But uh, what I read about him, and this is by his own account, he said every morning before he would go out to minister, because he knew he didn't have it in himself as a human being to be a help to anybody. But Jesus could help everybody. That's the way he looked at it. So he would get dressed in his best clothes, his best ministry outfit. I'm sure a tie like this, you know, that's how we dress. And a jacket, he'd dress in his best clothes, and he stood before a full-length mirror, and he looked in the mirror, and he said, God dwells in that man. He said, I did that every day before I went out to minister. Why did he bother to do that? Because to remind him that he was going to act on and believe, act, walk in the light of what he believed to be true about himself. He was in Christ. He was a new creation. God dwells in him. And he said it made all the difference in the world how he handled the situation to think that God's living in here. That's who I am. And he was acting on that, walking as though that were really true. I think the same thing is uh, true and applicable for each one of us as well.